North Korea says latest ICBM can reach anywhere on the U.S. mainland. North Korea said it had successfully tested the powerful new intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM that put all of the U.S. mainland within range, declaring it had achieved its long-held goal of becoming a nuclear power. Wednesday's missile test, North Korea's first since mid-September, came a week after U.S. President Donald Trump put North Korea back on a U.S. list of countries it says support terrorism, allowing it to impose more sanctions. North Korea has conducted dozens of ballistic missile tests under its leader, Kim Jong-un, in defiance of international sanctions. In September, it conducted its sixth and largest nuclear test. North Korea said the new powerful missile reached an altitude of around 4,475 kilometers 2,780 miles, more than 10 times the height of the International Space Station and flew 950 kilometers 600 miles during its 53-minute flight. After watching the successful launch of the new type ICBM Hwasong-15, Kim Jong-un declared with pride that now we have finally realized the great historic cause of completing the state nuclear force, the cause of building a rocket power, according to a statement read by a television presenter. In the statement, North Korea described itself as a responsible nuclear power, saying its strategic weapons were developed to defend itself from the U.S. imperialists' nuclear blackmail policy and nuclear threat. Many nuclear experts say the North has yet to prove it has mastered all technical hurdles including the ability to deliver a nuclear warhead reliably atop an ICBM, but likely soon will. We don't have to like it, but we're going to have to learn to live with North Korea's ability to target the United States with nuclear weapons, said Jeffrey Lewis head of the East Asia Nonproliferation Program at the Middlebury Institute of Strategic Studies. U.S., Japanese and South Korean officials all agreed the missile, which landed within Japan's exclusive economic zone, was likely an ICBM. It did not pose a threat to the United States, its territories or allies, the Pentagon said. It went higher frankly than any previous shot they've taken, a research and development effort on their part to continue building ballistic missiles that can threaten everywhere in the world, basically, U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis told reporters at the White House. Trump spoke by phone with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and South Korean President Moon Jae-in, with all three leaders reaffirming their commitment to combat the North Korean threat. It is a situation that we will handle, Trump told reporters. Moon told Trump that North Korea's missile technology seemed to have improved. A spokesman for the South Korean leader's office said. Trump, who was briefed on the missile while it was in flight, said it did not change his administration's approach to North Korea, which has included new curbs to her trade between China and North Korea. Washington has said repeatedly that all options, including military ones, are on the table in dealing with North Korea. Diplomatic options remain viable and open, for now, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said. Other than carrying out existing UN sanctions, the international community must take additional measures to enhance maritime security, including the right to interdict maritime traffic traveling to North Korea, Tillerson said in a statement. The UN Security Council was scheduled to meet on Wednesday to discuss the launch, which Secretary General Antonio Guterres strongly condemned. This is a clear violation of Security Council resolutions and shows complete disregard for the united view of the international community his spokesman said in a statement. The new Hwasong-15, named after the planet Mars, was a more advanced version of the Hwasong-14 ICBM tested twice in July, North Korea said. It was designed to carry a super-large heavy warhead and had much greater advantages in its tactical and technological specifications than its predecessor. Based on its trajectory and distance, the missile would have a range of more than 13,000 kilometers 8,100 miles more than enough to reach Washington, D.C., the U.S.-based Union of Concerned Scientists said. However, it was unclear how heavy a payload the missile was carrying, and it was uncertain if it could carry a large nuclear warhead that far, the nonprofit science advocacy group added. Minutes after the North fired the missile, South Korea's military conducted a missile firing test in response, the South Korean military said. South Korea's Moon said the launch had been anticipated and the government had been preparing for it. There was no choice but for countries to keep applying pressure and sanctions against North Korea, he added. The situation could get out of control if North Korea perfects its ICBM technology, Moon said, according to the Blue House after a National Security Council meeting. 
North Korea should not miscalculate the situation and threaten South Korea with a nuclear weapon, which could elicit a possible preemptive strike by the United States. The test comes less than three months before South Korea hosts the Winter Olympics at a resort just 80 kilometers 50 miles from the heavily fortified border with the North. U.S. stocks briefly paired gains on the news, but the S&P 500 index closed up almost 1 percent and Asian markets largely shrugged off the news. North Korea has said its weapons programs are a necessary defense against U.S. plans to invade. The United States, which has 28,500 troops in South Korea as a legacy of the 1950-53 Korean War, denies any such intention. Last week, North Korea denounced Trump as decision to relist it as a state sponsor of terrorism, calling it a serious provocation and violent infringement. A U.S. government source said the U.S. assessment was the launch was the latest in a serious series of tests to develop and perfect North Korean missile systems rather than any response to Trump. Trump has traded insults and threats with Kim and warned in September that the United States would have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea if forced to defend itself or its allies.